eBay, John Donahoe. Because we 
don't want to mimic and follow. We want to lead and innovate. And so today is an important marking point of how we're shifting our emphasis in innovation. Historically, we've had gigantic global platforms with eBay, PayPal, and Skype. And we've done a lot of the innovation inside of those platforms. That's shifted because no longer do we want to be the bottleneck of innovation. We're opening up those platforms so that we and you can drive the experiential and exponential growth in innovation. Now we also had to have a point of view about the future and where our company fit in. And here's our point of view. We believe that the internet, that e-commerce and online payments are still in their early days. E-commerce is only 15 years old. Online payments is barely a decade old. Today, e-commerce only represents 5% of offline retail and online payments only 5% of all payments worldwide. Think about it. That doesn't make any sense. There is no reason why e-commerce should not represent 15 to 20% of all online or all offline retail and why online payments even higher. <coughs> There's been a lot of customer change in the last 10 years online. And what's interesting is you can contrast what's happened in the offline world to what's happened online. Think about it. If you go shopping today and you go into a Best Buy or Fry's Electronics, you in essence had the exact same experience as you had 10 years ago. You walk in, find what you want, you pull out your, you walk up to the cash register, you pull out your wallet, you pull out the same piece of plastic, you pay and you walk out. That experience has not changed in the last decade or even in the last 20 years. But think about shopping and paying online. 10 years ago, you'd sit in front of the great big monitor at your desktop. Browsing on eBay was considered a cutting edge experience. And if you bought something, you stuck a check or some cash in an envelope and mailed it. Today, 10 short years later, we feel great about how different it is. We sit in a Starbucks on the Wi-Fi network and we use our laptop or netbook or iPhone. And we search, we go from site to site to site. And if we buy something, we have PayPal to pay with it. A lot different than 10 years ago, a lot of innovation. But frankly, still not a very satisfying experience. And from our perspective, one that can and will change. In fact, we believe that consumer behavior will change more in the next three years than in the last 10 years combined and the technology will enable that. Let me give you an example. This year, the eBay app on the iPhone will do $500 million of volume. I might note, with PayPal beautifully integrated inside them. Think about that. $500 million of volume on a device that didn't exist two and a half years ago on an application that was only created a year ago. That gives the example of the kind of consumer innovations and changes in consumer behavior we're going to see over the next three years. And our role as a company and our vision is that what we want to do is connect buyers and sellers. If you think about it, the initial eBay business was the first and only way to connect buyers and sellers online 10, 15 years ago. And then PayPal is just another way to connect a buyer and seller so people can pay and be paid initially on eBay and now increasingly off eBay. Our stuff up business, our classified businesses, our advertising businesses are just ways to connect buyers and sellers. And PayPal represents an enormous opportunity. I said and I'll say again, I believe PayPal will be bigger than eBay because PayPal can power all of e-commerce. PayPal's target market is globally e-commerce, and PayPal will become the leading online payments network. All right. Now, you're going to hear in a couple minutes from Scott Thompson about his vision of the future of payments and his vision of the future of PayPal. And I think you'll agree with me, it's a very exciting vision. In fact, we're so confident of this vision, we've communicated our intent to double PayPal over the next three years. And we've communicated 
that innovation 